So I have several groups of these ball looking things. And let's think about how many balls are in each group. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And what I want to do is think about the different ways of dividing these 12 balls into different numbers of groups. So for example, I could view these 12 balls as 1, so that's one group of 3, 2 groups of 3, three groups of three, four groups of three. So I could view 12 as being four groups of three. And the way that we would write that, the way that we would write that is that 12 is that 12 is equal to four groups, four groups of three, four groups of three. Or another way of reading this is that 12 is equal to four times three. If I have one, two, three, four groups, and in each of those groups I have one, two, three objects, I'm going to have a total of 12 objects. But that's not the only way we can get to 12. We could also view it as three groups of four. So let's look at that. So we could have it as one, one group of four, two groups of four, three groups three groups of four. So now we could view 12 as being three groups of four. Or we could say, we could say that three, let me get the right tool out, we can say that three, three times four, three times four is equal to 12. So whether we're doing four times three or three times four, they're both going to be equal to 12. Four groups of three is 12, three groups of four. But we don't have to stop there. We could also view 12 as, well, we could view it as two groups of six. Let's look at that. Could be, so this is one group of six right over here. So that's one group of six. That's another group of six. So once again, we could view this as two times six. Two times six will also get us to 12. Well, what about viewing it as six groups of two? Well, we can draw that out too. Six groups of two. So that's one group of two. Let me do that in a different color. We have, let me do it in this purple color. We have one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, and six groups of two. So once again, this is all different ways of writing 12, something equivalent to 12. We could write six times two, six times Six groups of two, six times two, is also, is also equal 12. But we don't have to stop there. We could also literally view 12 as one group of 12. So how would that look? So one group of 12. So this whole thing is just one, one group, one group of 12 here. So we could literally say one, one times 12, one times 12 is equal to 12. We have one entire group of 12, one times 12 is equal to 12. And we could think of it the other way around. We could view this as 12 groups of one. 12 groups of one, let me draw that. So 12 groups of one. This is one group of one, two groups of one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. 12 groups of one. So we could also write, we could also write 12, 12 groups, and in each one I have one. Well, that's still going to get me to 12.